of the most interesting things from, from this point of view in, in, in the current market we're in is the low uh, CO2 rate, which is 99 grams of CO2 in the 1.6 TDI engine. And I suppose the main key point of that is that it achieves very, very high fuel efficiency while also qualifying for the lowest road tax band rate of, uh, in band A2, which is 180 euros of road tax per year. Another interesting feature I suppose you might point out is the Audi MMI system which is a standard feature on the Audi A3 Sportback. The Audi MMI system allows the person to integrate their iPhone their, or their, even their iPod or even regular mobile phone with the car to allow them to stream music over the car but, uh, but also having a very interesting uh, interface with the car as well through the MMI radio, um, the CD player, SD card input as well as adjusting all the car settings quite easily through the MMI system. In terms of quality, the critics have said that this is one of the most uh, fantastic levels of quality we've seen in any car. Have Audi really stepped up with this model? I definitely think so. It's built from the ground up on a new MQB platform, which is a, a new platform uh, employed by the Volkswagen Group. So, in terms of handling properties and uh, and even just uh, the build design lightweight technology, this car is 80, uh, 80 kilograms lighter than its predecessor. What that equates to is higher fuel efficiency, safer car. So. All, taking all that into account, the overall car and the handling properties, everything else it, it, it built into it, it's just a much better car than the, the, the predecessor and it really have stepped up the game a lot. Neil, we're at the press launch of the ADA3 Sportback, hugely important car for the Irish market. Um, what makes this car so significant for your sales this year? It's of huge significance to us. It's in a segment that is the biggest segment in the marketplace in Ireland. Uh, we've just introduced the A3 three-door last year. A3 Sportback is, from a volume perspective, a more important model for us going forward. So yeah, this year, A3 Sportback is one of the most important models we've launched. Uh, first impressions, really good. Uh, really impressed with the engine, really powerful, um, the 150 brake. Um, really surprised at how quiet it was, really. I mean, for a diesel, it makes such a nice noise, to be honest with you. Um, and you've really worked hard um, improving what was already really good quality. How did you find the cabin? Cabin was very impressive. Um, I'm not a fan of full leather seats. I'd much prefer the half leather. I find them much more comfortable, so I particularly like that one. Uh, the finish um, was really nice. The ergonomics are really good. Everything within touch and reach, and the sat nav is, is really easy to use. I really enjoyed it. That was a lovely car in it. It's definitely roomier, it's got a longer wheelbase than the three door version, so there's more room in the back and more room in the boot. Really, really, really well sorted. MQB sh chassis is just, well, superb chassis. And then the engine choices, which you've more engines coming as well, not just diesel, you've got good petrols, 1.2 coming as well. It's going to be epic. Is this the start of, so of Audi being more mainstream? Will it, this appeal to a wider audience? It will, certainly. I think it'll bring in new people coming, stepping up from. A, a, a sub brand or maybe a VW brand that want to step up to something a bit more premium. This definitely does give a brand new entry level into, into Audi range.